NBA, the Indiana Pacers have made some changes with their roster. Now, the Raptors, they traded with the Pacers and received Bruce Brown, Jordan Noah, and three first-round draft picks in return for all-star forward Pascal Sayaka. Now, this is a hell of a deal. I'm happy for both sides. I think it's kind of a win-win. You got one side and the Raptors getting a bunch of draft picks, which is going to be huge in their rebuilding process. And then you got the Indiana Pacers who are adding Pascal Sayakam, who really, really makes them complete. And I think personnel-wise, from the Indiana Pacers, man, they already could hang with just about anybody in the league prior to Halliburton getting injured. But now you add Pascal Sayakam, and it's like, damn, they become a huge, Huge level threat in the East right now. I really think this boosts them up a couple of tiers from where they were. If they were competing with the best of the best without this guy, you add him and only thing you get rid of is Bruce Brown. Oh, they are definitely on another level. And they're definitely on another tier. Now, Sayakum, he adds a couple of different things. He adds some extra layer on the scoring toll, rebounding, and also defending. Because he's a very lanky defender. He's like seven foot, I'm pretty sure, or six eleven, whatever you want to categorize it as. Pretty much either way it goes, he's seven foot. Because if you're six eleven, that's damn near seven foot. But with scoring, it's gonna be huge for the Pacers because you already have Halliburton, who's a great scorer, and you have um, Buddy Heald, who's a great scorer as well. But he adds another layer to this because he can score inside out. He can shoot the ball a little bit. He got some post moves that's good as well and still very much effective. And if you definitely need him to, he can for sure make a mid-range. But it's, it, it eliminates any type of one-dimensional play within the Indiana Pacers. And that's why I do love this trade because it also helps to spread the floor. You add another guy on the roster who is unselfish and another guy who is willing to make that extra pass to get a teammate open, to help another guy and like just play his role ultimately. Like one of the things, one of the best things and and the best ways for a guy to transfer to a team and get traded and play and assimilate to a new team is just accepting and embracing the role of just doing whatever it takes to win. This is why I say some stars are very, very easy to play with. And I think Sayakam is one of those guys who will be easy to play with, especially on this Indiana Pacers team. But it's not just the scoring where he helps them out. Because rebounding, they help. They are, are boosted up a lot in rebounding already without him. But you add him along with OB Toppin and Miles Turner, like, These guys can play huge if they really wanted to. If they're going up against a team and they want to play bully ball, you can throw Sayakam at the three, truth be told. Keep OB Toppin in and add Miles Turner in there to grab every single board that comes off the rim. (laughs) Like, they get a lot of leverage here with Pascal Sayakam because, man, he he, again, he's seven feet and, and can run, can jump, can move, and also can defend, which is my next point here. He can guard pretty much one through five. Maybe not be able to stick with your guard the whole entire time but he can hold his own on an island against a guard who's trying to score on him so that that adds a lot of value here so I, i'm loving this trade for the indiana pacers and and man it, this is this is huge this is going to be really really good for them they were already a top five team in the eastern conference um but halliburton got hurt so now I, i'm curious to see how things are going to change everybody in the eastern conference is very very close right now so it'll be interesting to see what this team is going to do i mean you do lose bruce brown which is going to be a, a huge pain and i think anybody who loses a player like bruce brown will feel that type of impact because the way he was is he's an impact player. He's going to give you energy. He's going to change the momentum of the game. He's going to change the entire dynamic because of the effort he brings on the floor. He elevated his game to a, a tremendous level offensively, was able to shoot a little bit better, was able to score a little bit better. So you will feel that slight difference, especially coming from the guard position, because we, we know a lot of times we're it's it's about guard matchups depending on who you play but bruce brown he, he's a solid defender that's a high iq guy and it, it's gonna hurt losing him but I, I think it's definitely worth the return getting pascal sayaka <laughs> so i'm looking forward to seeing this team though and the pacers new look man um they have a very very diverse team so it'll be cool to see i i mean i hey who's the favorites who's the favorites now in the east you got the celtics they still got their new look uh with porzingis over there philly i don't take philly too serious still because they just got in b which is a, a huge thing to have a, a pause but a, a huge 
huge guy to have on your team because you know how impactful he can be. But it's a lot of different teams in the East. So it's going to be interesting to see this. 